In this video, we'll look over what you should do and what you definitely should aim to avoid during Venus retrograde in Leo. When the planet of loveliness takes a backward spin, it's like the universe hits the reset button so we can slow down and focus on introspection, re-evaluation and reflection. This time she is retrograde in the sign of Leo. Check your sign and rising sign to see where this will affect you. Black Moon Lilith, the untamed and wild feminine archetype, is also in Leo, urging you to express your authentic self fearlessly. When Lilith finds herself in Leo, the hidden and darker aspects of personal power and self-expression are revealed. This energy stirs up a rebellious and fiercely independent spirit, urging you to fearlessly showcase your unique talents and ideas. One thing to be aware of during this Venus retrograde is the dangers of fixating too much on appearances. Those in the limelight, for reasons that are perhaps a little shallow, may feel the negative side of this energy. Instead, dig deep to rediscover your authentic self and what makes you special. You have a gift that the world needs. Don't be afraid to shine. On that note, here are 10 things you should do during the transit of Venus retrograde in Leo. Number one, reflection and introspection. Take a step back and reflect on what really matters to you. How have your needs and desires changed? Where are you heading? Are the steps that you're taking leading you there? Look to the areas ruled by the Sun, the Fifth House and of course Leo in your own chart to understand what areas are under review. Number two, rediscover your authentic self. What mask do you wear in your day-to-day -day life? Who would you be if you took them off for a moment and found yourself unapologetically you? Number three, express yourself creatively. Leo rules the fifth house of creativity, whether that's of the artistic type or creating people. This Venus retrograde encourages you to unleash your creative genius, embrace your artistic expression and let your imagination run wild. Number four, reconnect with children or your inner child. Now this one is a classic Leo area. If you have children in your life, now is a lovely time to reconnect with them or to review your parenting techniques and the values you wish to instill in your little ones. It's also time to get playful and indulge your inner child. Of course, the best way to do this is by interacting with children, but you can always try a nostalgic activity instead. Number five, return to past creative projects. Whether it's from your childhood or something you worked on more recently, this is a great time to get back to past creative pursuits. Anything that takes you back or can be rehashed in some way can help you at this time. Number six, Revisit old styles and sort out your wardrobe. With Venus ruling beauty and Leo ruling expression, clothes are definitely an area that could do with a review. Rather than finding new clothes, go through your wardrobe or old cupboard for treasures you mis mislaid. Number seven, relationship SOS. This is a good time to do an inventory of your relationship and see how it can be more fairly distributed. With Black Moon Lilith and Leo, any power imbalances or injustices within love are going to be impossible to ignore now. Fix them. Number eight, reevaluate your finances. Even though Leo isn't concerned with money, Venus most certainly is. So take some time to review your finances and think of how you can make them healthier. Number nine, return to old relationships. Be open to rekindling romance. If an old flame reappears, approach it with an open heart and mind. Disclaimer, if this isn't for your higher good, there's no point in forcing it, so go gently. And if you are in a relationship that isn't working, what often happens is relationships just fall apart during Venus retrograde, so let go with dignity. Number 10, indulgent self-care. Venus retrograde urges us to turn our focus inwards and nurture our inner selves. Dive into practices that promote self-love and care, such as journaling and heart-opening meditations. Leo loves to feel special, so make your own damn self feel special. Here are 10 things you should try to avoid during Venus retrograde in Leo. Number one, don't start a brand new relationship. Be cautious about new romance and if you do meet someone, try to take it slowly. That doesn't mean you should reject anyone on the back of this, just know that you may feel differently once Venus starts moving forwards once more. Number two, avoid big unnecessary splurges. If you've fully attuned yourself to the law of attraction and rolling in cash, better to put off those big ticket purchases until early September. There's no point risking big money on treating yourself during a Venus retrograde, unless this is something which relates to the past. Number three, making a big love commitment. 
Don't make a commitment in a relationship or sign marriage documents. Getting married is allowed. Just sign on the dotted line at your peril. I don't mean to scare you if you are getting married. The party can still be amazing. Just try to delay the signing until after. Number four, don't dramatically change your style. It's best not to buy brand new clothes or make a big style change during a Venus retrograde, especially when it falls in Leo. If you want to rethink your brand, then great, but wait until Venus moves direct to implement any changes. I'm talking to you, Elon X Musk. Number five, big and final financial decisions. Again, it's fine to revisit areas from the past. Just try not to get into anything binding or brand new and definitely don't take out a loan or get tied into any financial schemes. Wait until September, or better yet, October, when Venus is out of shadow and Mercury out of retrograde. Number six, avoid cosmetic procedures. Venus rules your appearance and she just isn't full strength right now, so avoid anything permanent or too risky. You can risk it, but why bother when you can just wait a few more days and enjoy Venus's sweet gaze once more? Personally, I would just avoid everything unless it's your regular beauty program. Number seven, don't become obsessed with your appearance. This transit is about authentic self-expression for personal growth and fulfillment, regardless of how others perceive you. Seeking validation from others can only lead to disappointment right now. This is also a great rule to live by for the upcoming Pluto in Aquarius transit, which lasts about 20 years. Number eight, avoid drama. With Lilith and Leo being a great lover of drama, attention-seeking behaviors and conflict can be amplified during this period, so strive always for harmonious interactions. Leo is a sign known for its boldness, confidence and dramatic flair. Just don't take it too far. Stay away from gossip and bullishness. Number nine, don't overlook the feelings of others. Another shadow side of Leo is arrogance or bullying, so be sure to stay humble. Leo is ruled by the sun, of course, which thinks it's better than everyone else. It totally is. So try to avoid excessive pride. Issues relating to self-esteem, self-love and expression of emotions can come to the forefront during Venus retrograde. When this aligns with Regal Leo, it can be easy to become proud, so tread gently, or not at all, upon the hearts of others. A nice way to attune to the art of humility is by acknowledging that everyone has something to contribute and that loving and learning from others is one of the great gifts of Venus energy. Number 10. Don't ignore past relationship patterns. This could be a time when your own shadow side rears its head, particularly when it comes to love and money. If you're feeling triggered or drawn to someone you shouldn't be, tread carefully. Don't be tempted to dismiss red flags. Instead, learn from the past and make conscious choices. When Venus moves direct at the beginning of September, you'll find the energies flow once more and all that work you did re-evaluating will help you to shine your authentic light and fully stand in your power. Humanity needs your gifts. Use this time to embark on a journey of self-discovery. For meditations to help you align with the energies of each new and full moon, join our members www.ivorygross.com forward slash membership.